everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day 25 of the holiday card series. Today I'm using the Cheers to You stamp set from Art Impressions. I'm going to be doing some no-line watercoloring. A few of you had questions about these stamps. They are clean stamps, so all you have to do is remove the paper backing and then stick them to an acrylic block or a mount like this one. So these stamps are really fantastic because they save a lot of space, but you have all the great qualities of a rubber stamp. I'm going to be stamping the image in Antique Linen Distress Ink. Like I said before, I'm doing no line coloring, so I'm using this ink in particular because it's very light, and also it can reactivate with water and sort of blend into the colors that I'll be using. I'm using some Arches Cold Press Watercolor Paper today, and I've turned it over to the back side of the watercolor paper so that I'm going to be painting on the smooth side. I just find a smooth surface to be a little bit better for no line coloring just because you don't have the roughness that could alter those lines that you need to be coloring. Taped down my watercolor piece to a board here just to cut down on any warping. And now I'm going to start painting. I'm using a round number two silver black velvet watercolor brush today. And I'm also using Windsor and Newton watercolor paints. And I'm going to turn on some music and speed up the video so you can watch. Thank you. 
I finished all my painting so I'm going to flatten out this watercolor piece. I got pretty warped while I was painting so I've just sandwiched it between two pieces of white cardstock and run it through my Big Shot machine and you'll see how much more flat that is now. So I trimmed down the watercolor piece to three and three quarters wide by five inches tall and I've mounted it onto a standard size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half tall. I just put some foam adhesive on the back of the watercolor piece. I find that using foam adhesive cuts down on any issues with the warping of the watercolor paper because if it was adhered straight down onto the card base, it might start to lift on the edges where there was warping. I added some shimmer to the red areas using a Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen and then I added shine using glossy accents to the bells and also her glasses and the berries on her, I guess that's a brooch of some sort that she's wearing. I added a little more red on her tights and then heat set that till it was dry. And that pretty much finishes the card for today. Thank you so much for watching this year's holiday card series. If you've missed any of the days of the holiday card series, you can catch them at my blog or my YouTube channel. You can just scroll through all of those uploaded videos. And I want to just give you a big, big, big thank you. I'll be back before the, ho before the holidays are over with more videos. Um, this is the end of the holiday card series, but I'll still be posting every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I hope to see you then. Once again, thank you for watching today's video and the holiday card series, especially today's video since it's day 25. The 25th video in all of my years of doing the holiday card series is always a very special day because it's the very last day of the series. I hope you'll check out some of these cards from previous years. They're all day 25. Once again, you can visit my blog at kwarnerdesign.com where all of the supplies used on today's card are listed. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys on Wednesday for a brand new card video.